An evening head shave with the Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor. Great for lady wet shavers and also beginner wet shavers. And that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Hey, we're doing an evening head shave and we're using a brand new razor from the folks at Vikings Blade. My thanks to everyone at Vikings Blade for sending this one along. This is the Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor, which is being marketed uh, at Lady Wet Shavers because of its mild quality and uh, great handle and uh, ease of use, that kind of thing. And it's also very, very, very good for beginners. Uh, it used to be called the Vikings Blade Chieftain Jr. And they found out, I'm not entirely sure how, but they found out that Lady Wet Shavers really liked this razor. So they decided to adjust their marketing and let Lady Wet Shavers know that this is a very, very good razor for their that meets their needs. So, we're going to go ahead and have an evening head shave. I am using Barrister and Man Nordos uh, shaving soap, and you can see it just gave me a fantastic, fantastic lather. I uh, already did my pre-shave with the Cube 2.0, and I'm going to go ahead and let this lather just kind of uh, moisturize the hair on my head. I've got about three days worth of hair growth up there. And I'm going to get it around my neck there, and there we go, and paint it on. I want to show you the, uh, the razor right here. Let me get that uh, hands wiped off there a little bit. I still have it in the box here. I'll put it back in the box so I can show you the presentation of it. Here it is right here, the Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor. This is in rose gold, really, really wonderful. It also comes with Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blades. Now, you open it up like this, there is that beautiful rose gold razor right there. Okay, how about that, huh? Absolutely fantastic. It has a 3.75 inch short handle. That's how they're marketing it. The most superior handle type for maximum control and ease of use. It's hefty, substantial, and luxurious. I agree. Some really, really nice knurling on this handle. It affords a very, very good grip. You can kind of see the... Uh, the different kind of knurling pattern on that handle. A lot of crisscrossing action in there, a lot of nice channeling, really, really affords a nice bite, a nice grip uh, for the hand. Really, really terrific. And then on the bottom here is where you'll find your uh, your Vikings Blade uh, razor blades. Here they are right here. Ooh, this comes in a plastic case as well. That's really, really nice. So we're gonna use one of these razor blades and we're gonna go ahead and have this shave. So let me just get that out of there. <laughs> there it is. Oh, all right. Okay, there it is. Right there. I got one right there. Came out the back. <laughs> That's okay. I got it anyhow. So we're all set with that. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this uh, Evo Razor is that it's twist to open. Okay, so you get a five-second blade load. Uh, and they say here it's a woman or a women-friendly razor head. Uh, super friendly to women and first-time safety razor users. Effortless to perform uh, short shaving strokes. Really, really terrific. Deep grooves, anti-slip handle, great for shaving in the shower. Yeah, again, a really, really nice, nice grip on this. And also has a rattling end tip. Automatically drains water and soap scum trapped inside. That's nice, too. It, and it really does have some nice, nice heft to it. So we're going to go ahead and install this blade here. Let me open that up again. <laughs> then opening and closing. And here is my Vikings Blade Mild razor blade right there. And we're doing kind of a warm water shave here. It's not cold. It's not hot. We're just doing a nice warm water shave. I'm using my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Lavery Bowl and also the Fire Mare uh, shaving brush to make that lather. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that rose gold. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful finish. And we're going to drop the blade in here. I'll show you again. This is the Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blade. I'm just going to drop that in there like that. Okay, that drops in nicely. Wow, that's a nice, it's seated very, very nicely. I'm just going to snug that up there a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Blade balance and alignment spot on. End tabs are just exposed a little bit, but they won't get in the way. Let's go ahead and start this shave. This is going to be mild. 
it is tuned towards the mild end, which is why I like it for head shaves. As you know, I prefer a milder razor for my head shaves, and this is absolutely perfect. All right, I'm gonna heat it up with some hot, hot, hot water. Just letting that water heat up a little bit. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that is nice. That is nice and mild. And there is some really, really nice, good, positive blade feel. But again, not harsh. Boy, that really, my gosh, that's fantastic. That really is nicely efficient. My gosh, that is great. Wow, that's really, really nice. Again, I have about three days worth of hair growth. So that Fire Mare shaving brush and the Grand Chairman shaving bowl did a great job of whipping up the lather. I got some really, really nice coverage on, um, on you know, covering up all that growth of hair there. So the second pass will be a little bit easier to lather because a lot of this hair will be gone. Boy, that is terrific. Wow, really, really nice. Nice and smooth with, with some nice, good, positive blade feel. This is usually where I have to be a little more careful with my head shaves, the hair, the, the, the skin, I was going to say the hair, not the hair, the skin gets a little thinner right on top. And uh, I lighten up my touch uh, with most razors. This razor, not so much. It's nice and mild. It really is doing a terrific job. I'm not really, I'm not really lightening up. Uh, more so uh, than I have to. It's just doing a really nice job, and I like that. I like that nice positive blade feel that I'm getting because I know the blade is engaged and it's shaving away that hair. And look at that uh, lather is just moving right out of the way. Really, a really a nice, nice design. Wow. All right, let's uh, throw a little bit of water up there. Just like this. Just threw a little bit of water. Did a good job. Second pass for a head shave is usually my money pass. Just going to throw a little bit of water up there. And we're going to go ahead and paint on this lather here. Just a little more. Got plenty in the bowl here. You can see I got plenty in the bowl. Just, just pull some off of the sides there. And that's a nice coating right there. This uh, orange scent of Nordost is really terrific. I mean, that's, it's a nice orange scent. It really is. It's like a, it's like a, it's like, like it's like fresh oranges. It really is terrific. And uh, being that it's a summer day, it's just a perfect, perfect scent for uh, a summer day. Really, really nice. I, and you could use it year round too. You know, really, give, it's a, it has a nice wake up kind of a scent. Really terrific. All right, again, I got plenty in there. Really a lot, my gosh. And this brush has a nice heavyweight base and uh, just did a great job. Really, really terrific. All right, um, here we go. And I'm gonna check the, uh, the, the bottom knob. And yeah, everything is nice and snug. Hasn't loosened up. Although, you know, by force of habit, I check all of my razors, three piece, twist to open, that sort of thing to make sure that everything is still secure. It's just a habit I have. But this one is nicely secure. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go back to front. That is really, really very nice. And again, I'm kind of flying blind here. This is something I learned from other head shavers that uh, you just want to go by feel and sensation. You don't really want to look in the mirror because that gets kind of confusing. 
and uh, just kind of feel your way al along. And I find that this method works very, very well. And that's why I like this razor because um, I can feel the blade engaging, but it's, it's a nice, smooth kind of blade engagement. And we're going to go uh, back to front here. Although, you know, the first pass on top of my head was fine. And I'm getting some good blade feel here. Although I think it's really, it's, it's better going front to back. I seem to have more control and I can get a better, um, a better angle on, um, on the razor. And that's not just for this razor. That's for a lot of different razors. It's just my, my individual technique. It's going to vary from wet shaver to wet shaver when they shave their heads. Some out there will probably find that it's easier to go uh, front to back on the top of the dome there. And others might find that it's uh, the other way around. So for me, front to back is usually a better way to, to get a good angle on the, on the safety razor. All right, um, this is what I like to do here. Let me just kind of feel around here. You know what? This head shave is done. No kidding. This is done. I have very, very little touch-up. I need very, very little touch-up. Wow, that is terrific. But I am going to do a little bit of touch-up, and we get a little bit of lather here, just a little bit. Put it on my hand, and I'm going to just move it around uh, some of the areas that might need a little bit of a touch-up. Maybe right here like that. And then maybe, maybe here, maybe here. I want to make sure that I got the neck there and got the neck there. I want to make sure I got behind my ears. Over here as well. Yeah, you know what? This this head shave is done. My God. Maybe a little bit right here. A little bit of touch up. Wow, that is absolutely terrific. I'm going to drain the sink and I'm going to get this uh, washcloth here and I'm going to soak this in some warm water here and do my head rinse this way. So you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm not ducking down below and splashing all over, that sort of thing. This seems to work very, very well. And again, viewers uh, tip me off to this particular technique in doing a head shape. Just getting a rag like this and just, uh, you know, soaking in some warm water and just, just taking that cream off, taking off that lather. And I'm not rubbing too vigorously or anything like that. I'm just removing the ladder. Wow, this is terrific. This is a great, great head shave. My goodness. This is marvelous. That's terrific. A really, really nice result. We're going to flip it over to the cold water side. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to run this rag, rag, <laughs> this uh, washcloth underneath some uh, cold water and I'm going to use that to uh, kind of close my pores on top of my head there. Give it a nice uh, cooling sensation like this. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's terrific. Wow, what a nice head shape. Really, really nice. We can stop that. That is really, <laughs> that's really, really nice. Wow. That's terrific. Boy, I, I just love the end result of a really, really nice head shave. And this has been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful head shave with this razor. Absolutely terrific. My gosh, this is another, this is another go-to razor for a head shave. Absolutely. Uh, let's get my Allen block. I got a GBS Allen block here. And we're gonna go ahead and let me show you the box. GBS travel travel uh, travel container travel case. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this under some cold water and then use this alum on top of my head and see what kind of feedback we get if we get any zinging, any stinging. Yeah, I got a few zings here and there. Oh yeah, a few zings here and there, but you know, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Wow, 
This was really a nice, nice result. Yeah, but a few zings, no doubt about it, which tells me I got a really nice, close, close head shave. Probably didn't have to do all that much of a touch-up, really. That's how good of a shave I got with this razor, and this Vikings Blade Mild Blade was just perfect for it. Wow! That's really, really nice. Let me just, uh, okay, we'll just, you know, I'm just, I'll dry this off later. I usually have a towel to dry it. I'll dry it off later. I'll just put it here like this, put it aside like that, because I really don't have a towel to dry my head because this washcloth just takes care of all the lather. It gets rid of all that, uh, that cold water rinse with the uh, washcloth. Kind of, uh, it kind of cools off and dries a little bit in the Allen block. Also comes into play that way. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, here is uh, Nordost Aftershave. I'm going to put this up there just for a little bit of scent. I can't remember if this has any moisturizing qualities to it. We'll find out here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We'll put that up there. Yeah, I'm going to let that... I'm just going to let that sit up there like that. Now, if I have to... Add a little bit of balm after the shave is over, then I'm going to use Margaritas in the Arctic by Sterling. I won't do that now. Uh, I will do that um, maybe in a half hour or so if I find out that I need some moisture there, uh, that kind of thing. But um, we'll see how this Nordos works, if it gives me enough uh, moisturizing quality, because it, does, it seems to have a little bit of moisturizing quality. Let's see if that suffices. So uh, really, really terrific. And... Great, great evening head shave. Really, really terrific. This uh, Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor is wonderful. Nice heft, really good balance. Nice thin uh, or slimmer profile to the razor head. Uh, end tabs, again, are protrude just a little bit, but they do not get in the way at all. They didn't get in the way of going behind my ears at all, so that's really, really good, but very, very maneuverable. The handle has a lot of nice grip to it. Let me show you how it compares to the original Vikings Blade uh, Chieftain Jr. It's now being marketed as the Eva. And they also have the Athena that comes in another plating uh, configuration with a different kind of slightly different handle uh, design. Here is the Vikings Blade Chieftain Jr. You can see just the, they're very, very similar, although you can see that the, the handle, the knurling on the handle, is definitely, definitely different. Really, and I think this Eva affords more grip than the Vikings Blade Chieftain Jr. Uh, you can still get this one uh, on the uh, on the Eva product page. You can get the Eva Athena, and you can also get this Chrome version, which I believe uh, is what I'm holding in my hand here. I'll have to look at it again a little more closely to see if the knurling pattern is the same. But both of these razors are fantastic, but the Rose Gold is absolutely fantastic. If uh, you are a lady wet shaver, this wonderfully mild, smooth razor will definitely meet your needs. If you are a beginner wet shaver and you're looking for something mild, absolutely fantastic. Rose Gold looks great for any wet shaver, uh, male or female. And they also have the other two plating options there as well. But I really, really like and enjoy the knurling on the Eva's handle here. Uh, just a lot of great, great grip. And again, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really smooth with nice positive blade feel. Very, very efficient. This head shave was done in two passes. Three days worth of hair growth and it was shaved off beautifully by the Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor. My thanks again to everyone at Vikings Blade for very, very kindly passing this razor along to the channel and allowing me to share with all the viewers out there the Vikings Blade Eva Safety Razor. Thanks again everyone at Vikings Blade. Really, really do appreciate it. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, 
check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.